Bom dia! Good afternoon, good evening. Welcome guys to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu. This is my wife, Romaine Taihutu. And we have our youngest daughter today with us, Jessa Taihutu. In today's video, of course, bombing you with some really cool crypto charts. Yes, also taking a look at the news. Yes, also taking at the performance of the Didi Bam Bam indicator. And of course, mostly talking about family today because that's why I have my family with me. It's a really cool video, really cool charts, really cool information. So watch the video till the end while Jessa skateboards downhill to the cliffs where she hopefully won't fall off. Don't fall off the cliffs. joining me. Miss Puma. Oh, the sweater. <laughs> Julie just woke up. Can you see no, it? No, I did not. What? I had school. Oh. Oh. Coffee. Oh. Oh. How do you eat uh, stay so thin? By eating uh, Hela curry in the morning. <laughs> yeah, <to. laughs> Do you remember? I, I used to work for this company. I know. You didn't know. Yeah, you, you I, were, you, no, I told you. I told yeah, you. you yeah. Told me. yeah, I worked for this one. Hela. It's a company from the Netherlands, from my hometown, Venlo. After school, I worked there for three months or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I did, I did research. I know you don't believe that I ever worked, but I did work. Herman Lauer. It's the best curry out there. Another curry, like an Indian curry, but like this curry. Check. Can you, can you put a little bit like... Ketchup with spices. It's like that. But you eat this for breakfast in the morning. Yeah. She eats this breakfast, this lunch, this dinner. What is it? It's cheese with... Uh, a wrap. Yeah. And curry. Mm -hmm. So that's your Four secret. And some bread in the morning. <laughs> Fruit. <laughs> speed Is this Jessa? One feet. One feet? No. I'm watching for Bitcoin. What are you searching? A lucky thing. A lucky clavertje vier. Yeah. <laughs> And let's start guys with the TA part, the Bitcoin TPA part, where I bomb you a really cool charts. This part. Bam!
today not starting guys with Bitcoin but with Litecoin take a look at this four hour Litecoin chart and let's see what Litecoin is going to do next this chart BAM you can see that Litecoin broke out of this bearish channel we went downwards with Litecoin to $80 we broke out of this and we are now retesting this line this means that if we hold this line as a support we will go on to the next resistance around 48 45 US dollar and if we break that resistance we can even go back to the 90 US dollar resistance and then probably try to break that resistance to get to the $100 target in Litecoin like you can see we are moving above the channel trend line and yes also above the 100 simple moving average so that's very positive for Litecoin I always hold some Litecoin in my portfolio because I believe that Litecoin can go back to the heights that it was during the 2017 bull run the 84.85 resistance level guys is around the Fibonacci level of 0.618 so that level is Litecoin's next target but let's first break this 84.85 resistance level before we look at $90 guys let's go to the next chart this chart BAM huh again no Bitcoin no this is an Ethereum chart yes I want to share some more currencies with you not only Bitcoin Litecoin and now Ethereum on this one hour chart guys you can see we found support around 580 to 582 US dollar this is on this bullish trend line you can see this trend line forming upwards this bottom trend line and the support line is now around this 0.5 Fibonacci level so that's a beautiful level to have support if we bounce off the support guys we are going to try and reach 590 and 600 US dollar again if we don't hold support around this 580 level guys we can fall back all the way down to 560 to 530 maybe even to 500 US dollar in Ethereum but like you can see there is always this bearish line resistance around 519 592 US dollar so that will be forming a pennant I think and if we will break out of this pennant I think 600 dollar is an easy reach and an easy new level of resistance that we will break for Ethereum and yes I think 600 dollar is just the beginning in Ethereum I do think we will see a thousand plus price in this bull run in Ethereum so yes Litecoin Bitcoin Ethereum all safe buys if it is up to me so now let's take a look at Bitcoin guys because yes I am not forgetting the Bitcoin chart let's take a look at this Bitcoin chart BAM this is a day chart guys Jess is doing something funny again but this is a Bitcoin day chart if you take a look at this chart you can see that we have this bullish trend line coming up we tested this trend line on the 1st of November around 14 15 K I think it was then around the 15th of November it was around 16,400 US dollar per Bitcoin you can see that the top line of this channel guys is 21 to 22,000 US dollar per Bitcoin so we are moving in this channel we just touched this bottom again so are we moving now to the top to this 21 22 K level if you look to the bottom of the chart you can see that the RSI still has possibilities to move a little bit more upwards so yes I think we could be moving in this channel towards 21k let's see what will happen are they doing something crazy at the back of me I don't know I can't see I like you know guys I like to zoom more so let's take a look at this week chart and then you have this beautiful view you can zoom in on that view well I'll zoom out on the chart but in the week chart you can see guys that we are still moving upwards wait I need to BAM the week chart onto your screen BAM so the question now is in this week chart are we going to approach the 20k again and are we going to see another sell-off because you know the last two times we tried to break the 20k we saw this huge sell-off huge 20 percent 26 percent it's not huge because we were used to 40 percent drops in the previous bull run but still it's a sell-off so what is going to happen next you can see that we are forming a lot of green candles already like 12 green candles in a row 12 bullish weeks if you look to the left on the chart you can see in the 2017 bull run we had many runs of multiple green weeks in a row so are we just starting this bull run now are there, is this really the beginning like I've been saying in many videos then this would be comparable to the first green candles in 2016 if you look to 2016 to the first 10 green candles that were started to move upwards and then zoom out and see how what happened after that could this be the same start could this be the same bullish moment of the first green candles going up and we still maybe need to see this 30 percent correction on the weekly chart before we make the next 12 green candles upwards to 20k 50k 100k in 2021 
That is how I interpret the charts. You can also see this green line that is moving average. That could be the support for the next drop. I think that if we drop, we could drop to the 20 weekly moving average, which is around 16,000 US dollars. So I have always some buy orders set around the 16,000 US dollar level because this is the 20 weekly moving average, which often has acted as support on the charts. So put some buy orders around the 16K level, around the 20 weekly moving average. That was the Bitcoin card. So we had Litecoin, Ethereum, we had Bitcoin. Now let's take a look at the last chart of the day, the BAM chart. On this chart guys i'm going to show you how much profit you could have made this weekend if you would have traded the way this chart will tell you this chart bam very simple chart if you would have traded with a leverage of 15 yes not 10 this time 15 a little bit higher you would have started the trade on friday on a one hour chart you would have been in a long till sunday with a trailing stop loss and you would have made a 135 percent profit yes with a leverage of 15 this time and every candle guys is an hour so if you started on friday you would have been stopped out somewhere on sunday because of the trailing stop loss you have would have made 137 percent just by doing one trade this weekend using the dd bam bam indicator as the indicator when to long and where to put your stop loss and trailing stop loss and buy bet, do that or prime XBT, whichever exchange you prefer to trade guys if you still need to sign up to one of these use the referral links down below the video because you will then get those bonuses $90 $300 or a 50% deposit bonus you choose which exchange fits you the best and yes guys I agree on this chart there were some moments you needed a strong hand to stay in the trade because there were some moments you could have been doubting on taking a short or whatever but as long we are moving above this yellow stepping line I am always confident and all the other DD BAM indicators margin call indicators kept me confident to stay in this trade from Friday till Sunday with a trailing stop loss so you know it's all educational I'm not a financial advisor I'm just a guy on the cliffs in Portugal creating cool content for you out there and now let's go into the next part of the content, the blockchain news and the family part, while we walk a little bit further here along the path with Jessa because she wants to skateboard again. Bam! To the left. Yes, in the blockchain news, there was not new much news today and it's early here on the Monday. So only two items, one item, the US Treasury got hacked. The US Treasury got hacked. Bitcoin can never be hacked. Let that be a very wise le lesson for the US Treasury. Why don't you just trust Bitcoin and blockchain? Because these tools are not possible to hack. Like your system was hacked now. How much money did you lose? Doesn't even matter. Because I think you printed so much money this year. I think it was the most printed money ever in American history. I think you printed 80% of all the money around in the US only this year. So why bother about security? Let us get hacked. We will just print some new money probably. <laughs> um, Bitcoin can never be hacked. That's the only lesson I can take out of this treasury hack yesterday in the United States. There was another news about Jim Cramer. Yes, he's this guy from CNBC. He just announced that he started to buy Bitcoin as well. So when these people on CNBC start to announce that they are buying Bitcoin as well, I think a lot of new people will get into the industry because these are guys that people look up to because they should know their shit because they are running a show on CNBC. So when these guys that talk about money every day in, day out, buy Bitcoin, that is a big change for many people out there watching these television shows. Would you buy Bitcoin because you see it on television? Me? Yeah. No. Why not? I don't know. Why, why would I buy something that I see on television? <laughs> well, that's the proof. She wasn't following anything what I was saying. She was again just watching the blue, beautiful yellow flowers and everything. No, I'm busy with Jess. Oh, Jess. Yes. <laughs> so, if a very famous person Ah, okay. That talks about money Jim every Kramer day. Say yeah, that's why I, yeah, you think about Kramer from the show. <laughs> no. How's the Kramer again? The funny guy with the funny hair. Seinfeld. But Seinfeld. That's Kramer. It's that's, not his yeah. last name. I'm talking about this guy who is doing this show on CNBC about money and stocks. Yeah. So would you buy it if a guy like that says, "Okay, I buy Bitcoin now"? 
would you trust it more? Like, let's say like this. If a famous person says it, then people will trust it more. Yeah, you would, you wouldn't. You are different, huh? Yes, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she would still focus on plucking these uh, yellow flowers. No, everything. No, not everything, but a lot of stuff on television is fake. Not real. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Maybe something impression. else, but not real. <laughs> okay. um, so, Jim, uh, you know, you stop talking on CNBC because she will never buy bitcoins. <laughs> oh no, but I'm a totally different person. No, 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 no. <laughs> she already bought them. Keep on long time ago. <laughs> Happy long time. That was all the charts for today, guys, and also the blockchain news. Now let's jump into the family part, the part where we talk about family. I need to wait till she catches up with me because she was helping Jessa with a sweater. This part, guys. Bam. Let's walk till the end of the edge and film a little bit about family over there. <laughs> what are we going to talk about? Family part. Um. Do we have something? You think of something, I will just update them about the other part of the family, the huge Bitcoin family. So guys, she's thinking about a subject. I'm talking to you guys already about the huge Bitcoin family. We have now thousand members in the Discord group, thousand Bitcoin family members every day chatting there about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Yes, of course, still incentivizing them with family tokens because if they help each other, I give them family tokens. Also, we are doing some trivia drops over there. So you need to answer a question. And if you answer the question correct, you get some family tokens as well. Many cool stuff to earn family tokens and they have value i think they are around 11 cents per family token or 12 cents even per family token so you could exchange them ethereum um, bitcoin us dollar tether or die or packs or whatever currency you prefer or you could buy a cool t-shirt in our store or a shout out below this video many stuff possible with this family token i hope i stretched enough time so now we have a subject to talk about <laughs> it's difficult difficult <laughs> beautiful view I think that is Praia de Mos or Praia de Luz. Okay, I have an idea. We do it different this time. This time, I am the interviewer. I will just ask some questions to Jessa and Roman. They will answer the questions because we don't know what to talk about anymore. So let's just do another, another concept. Didi is asking questions. What do you like most about Portugal? The skateboarding park. Not the beach. Not the beach. Not the sun. Not the sun. Not the food. This food. Not the house with a jacuzzi. I like everything about Portugal. Everything about Portugal. Obviously. That's too positive. Now you're lying. <laughs> I'm not lying. Okay. What do you like most about Portugal? Most about Portugal? Um, I like um, the way the people act here. It's like relaxing and it's like uh, not to stress like in most countries. And I love the beach. The sun, um, yeah. The Everything. life, the life over here is uh, pretty good. Okay, next question. What is the next thing, Jessa, in your life that you want to learn? Horse riding. Horse riding. Horseback riding. How do you call this in English? Horse riding. Horse riding. Do you <laughs> want to learn horse riding? Okay. For man? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What is the next thing in life you want to learn? Well, there are so many things I would love to learn, but it's hard for me to make a start. <laughs> I would like to learn more about um, astrology, about um, natural food, making your own medicine out of nature, that kind of stuff. If you have any question that I can ask him for the next video, comment down below. We want to know what you want to know about our life. So we know what we want to know to want to know to, to tell you about our lives. Something like this. But comment down below if you have any questions for Romain, Jessa, Jolie, Juna or me. Comment down below the video and I will answer these questions in the next video guys. Because we love to educate you and we love you to educate us as well in the comments. So even if you have not a question but just you want to share something with us. Or we need to check something out in Portugal. Whatever it is. Comment down below as well because we love to be informed by you guys. Let's walk to the cliff there and see how the view is from the cliff point over there now. Give it to you baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Give it to you baby. 
Oh, that one has a lot of fish on it. Really. All the birds. It's hot, huh? Ooh. Jess is here. You know this, huh? You can't do things Again? with a kid. <laughs> Again? Yes. You make That's me That's why too. I blocked Jess, huh? If you want to know more guys about the DD BAM indicator, just visit ddbam.com, fill in the form and we will send you all the information you need to join the DD BAM indicator or just join the Discord server because on this Discord server we talk about the BAM indicator every day. People are sharing their profits, also their losses, so that we educate each other how to use the BAM BAM indicator. So check the Discord server or go to ddbam.com. BAM! If you did enjoy the video guys, give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the Bitcoin family. Hit the notification bell and please leave a comment. Because I love to respond to your comments. Are you going to help me respond to the comments? Yes. Okay. And always, guys, remember please to zoom out on Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. We try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching today and hope to see you tomorrow again. Bye!